Well, good day, smart traders. I trust each and every one of you are ready for another profitable day within the market. Let's kick things off by having a look at today's economic calendar. Today's economic calendar certainly has some excitement in store for us. With the Canadian GDP being released at 3.30 South African Standard Time, as well as the CB Consumer Confidence Report coming out of the USA at 5 o'clock South African Standard Time. Let's move on by having a look at what's making headlines within the financial markets today. In currency news, the pound jumped after Britain struck a new trade deal with the European Union, which brightened the outlook for the post-Brexit UK economy and signalled improved relations between London and the bloc. Sterling clocked a 1% gain yesterday and rose to a high of 1.2069 to the dollar. The dollar was mostly flat, but it is on track to end higher for the month, ending a four-month losing streak. Having a look at our analysis on GBPJPY at the moment, GBPJPY is currently hovering just inside our current resistance zone and a nice clean break to that 164.5 level could spark a further bullish momentum on this specific instrument all the way to our next resistance level which is at 166.5. Now let's move over and see what's making headlines on Wall Street. US stocks scraped out a slight gain yesterday as traders engaged in some bargain hunting after last week's losses, the biggest percentage decline of 2023 for Wall Street's main benchmarks. As jitters persisted about coming interest rate hikes to tame stubbornly high inflation, all three main indices climbed more than 1% shortly after the opening bell, in part due to an easing in Treasury yields. And all three closed well off their session highs. Having a look at our analysis on the S&P 500, we can see that it is still in great bearish momentum as per our EMAs, but still hovering inside of that resistance zone. A nice clean break of this resistance zone and a close around that 3980 level could see a further sell-off on this specific pair. First, aiming for that 3950 level and then for our next primary support level at 3910. Now let's move over to commodities. As the saying goes, it isn't over until it's over. For natural gas, there is an increased sign that the worst may be over for longs in the game. As futures of the heating fuel jumped for a third straight day in a row, gaining nearly 20% in that stretch, for their best winning streak since mid-December. Since last week Wednesday's tumble to a September 2020 low of $1.69 that marked the lowest point of a two and a half month long sell-off triggered by unusually warm winter weather, natural gas has steadily gone the other way. Looking at our analysis on natural gas for today, it is at the tip of breaking our primary resistance area. Should we see a nice close above that 2.75 level, this could spark further buys back up to that $3 level and potentially even higher to our next primary resistance level at 3.2. Oil prices slid about 1% yesterday, as strong US economic data had traders bracing for more interest rate hikes from the US Federal Reserve to fight inflation which could slow economic growth and oil demand. Losses, however, were limited by oil supply concerns after Russia halted exports to Poland via a key pipeline. Looking at our analysis on crude oil, we can see that we are currently in an ascending triangle formation. Should we break this structure, we could see a potential further sell-off back down to our next primary support level at $72 a barrel. Gold prices recovered slightly from their weakest level this year. However, concerns over rising interest rates and anticipation of key US economic readings this week kept traders largely to the sidelines. So that is it from us here at Smart Online Trader. Should you be interested in any additional services that we offer, 
kindly get in touch with us or simply click on one of the links in the description below. As always, may the first be with you. Cheers.